एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिस्क्रीट चॉइस मॉडल वी विल सी लॉगिट प्रोबिट एंड थॉबिट मॉडल व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय डिस्क्रीट चॉइस मॉडल डिस्क्रीट चॉइस मॉडल एनालाइज द सीजन वेयर इंडिविजुअल सेलेक्ट एन ऑप्शन अमंग द सेट ऑफ डिस्क्रीट अल्टरनेटिव discrete choice model analyze decision where individual select an option among the set of discrete alternatives discrete alternative means some different and separate options that means under discrete choice model we select one option from the set of different and separate options and discrete choice model is based on principle of utility maximization that means individual will select option which will provide him maximum satisfaction because individual is rational that's why he want to gain maximum satisfaction discrete choice model also known as qualitative choice model but why because under discrete choice model our dependent variable is qualitative discrete choice model also known as qualitative choice model because under discrete choice model our dependent variable is qualitative what do you mean by qualitative dependent variable that means we cannot measure our dependent variable in terms of number our dependent variable is non numerically for example you can easily measure number of student uh, is price income in terms of number but how you can measure uh, hair color in terms of number how you can measure breed of uh, dog in terms of number similar we cannot measure gender marital status in terms of number all these will call qualitative variable and a discrete choice model also known as qualitative choice model because here our dependent variable is qualitative we cannot measure our dependent variable in terms of number qualitative dependent variable also known as dummy variable dummy variable we cannot measure numerically that's why in order to measure dummy variable we provide binary term like 0 or 1 here why is customer satisfaction we cannot measure customer satisfaction in terms of number that's why why is dummy variable or we can say that why is qualitative dependent variable x is quality of a product customer satisfaction depend on quality of product so x is our independent variable we cannot measure our dummy variable in terms of number that's why in order to measure customer satisfaction we provide binary term like 1 or 0 if customer is satisfy it will become equal to 1 if customer is not satisfy it will become equal to 0 first discrete choice model is logit model logit model follow logistic distribution logit model follow logistic distribution what do you mean by logistic uh, distribution we know about normal distribution logistic distribution and normal distribution both are symmetrical and well shaped but peak of logistic distribution is higher and narrow as compared to normal distribution this is normal distribution this is logistic distribution logit model follow logistic distribution as we know in case of discrete choice model we will select alternate which give us maximum satisfaction logit model predict probability of choosing each alternative rather than uh, simply predicting a single uh, choice for example instead of saying person will choose option a logist model provide 70% probability of choosing a 20% probability of choosing b and 10% probability of choosing uh, c so logit uh, model predict uh, probability of uh, choosing alternative but how we derive probability we derive probability through utility function for example there are two possible outcome probability of winning money or probability of losing money we assign positive uh, utility to probability of winning money and negative utility assign to probability of losing money there also include uh, error term error term means we cannot uh, measure all factors there are some unobserved factor also include so this is a important equation which you need to remember in case of logit uh, model l1 describe logit function p1 is probability of happening an event probability of success 1 minus p1 is probability of known happening of an event means probability of failure in case of logit model value of probability lies between 0 to 1 and value of logit lies between minus infinity to infinity 
and in case of log it model there is no need of a linear relationship between dependent variable and independent variable but relationship between independent variable and log odds of dependent variable should be linear what do you mean by log odds of dependent variable log odds of dependent variable means log rhythm of uh, probability of happening a event to the probability of non happening a event this is log rhythm of probability of happening a event or to the probability of non happening a event suppose probability of happening a event is 0.7 point so probability of non happening a event is 1 minus 0.75 it will become equal to 3 log value of 3 will be called log uh, log odds of dependent variable and in case of log it model there should be linear relationship between independent variable and log odd of dependent variable as we earlier discussed in log it model we include error term error term need to be independent that means error term of one period should not be related to error term of period two there should be absence of uh, perfect multicollinearity that means the independent variable should not be highly correlated with each other now we are going to talk about probit model probit model follow cumulative normal distribution probit model follow cumulative normal distribution cumulative normal distribution describe failure less than or equal to specific point cumulative distribution model describe failure less than or equal to specific point for example failure is equal to e point or less than e point that's why this oe area will be called area of failure or you can say that this oe area will be called critical threshold level and probit model based on this critical threshold level that means if my utility increase from this e point then my probability of uh, choosing alternative will increase at very fast rate in this diagram you can see before y point probability of choosing alternative is increasing at very slow rate but after this y point probability of uh, choosing alternative is increasing at very fast rate because uh, uh, this is my critical threshold level if my utility will increase from uh, this uh, e point then my probability of selecting a particular alternative will also increase at very fast rate that's the reason probit model is more steeper as compared to logit model because this is based on critical threshold level if utility will increase from this critical threshold level then definitely probability of choosing alternative will also increase at very fast rate now we'll see similarities and differences between probit and logit model probit model follow cumulative normal distribution logit follow logistic distribution probit model probability of a particular choice is decided by area above certain threshold as we have already discussed probability of choice is determined by shape of logistic curve similarities both are discrete choice of model in we use both model when we have to make choices with a limited set of alternative in both model individual want to get a maximum satisfaction in both model we include error terms now we are going to talk about tobit model tobit model is extension of probit model we use tobit model when information about dependent variable only partially available not fully available we use tobit model when information about dependent variable only partially available not fully available or you can say that we use the tobit model when information about dependent variable only available for some observation not for all observation here c is our dependent variable c is charity as we know charity is a qualitative dependent variable you cannot measure charity in terms of number and charity depend on spirituality or here, here x is spirituality which is our independent variable so we have to find out uh, donation amount some people do not donate at all some people do not donate at all now here our charity is qualitative dependent variable that means we don't have fully information about dependent variable we have only partial information about dependent variable na so in such a case we use a tobit model and those people who don't donate uh, their value will become equal to zero and tobit model can handle this zero along with the continuous positive donation amount and this is unique thing about tobit model that's why we use a tobit model when we have partially information about dependent variable not a fully information 
Taubit model is a type of censored regression model. Taubit model is a type of censored regression model. We use censored regression model when our dependent variable is partially observed, not fully observed. And Taubit uh, model can differentiate uh, between censored and uncensored part of dependent variable. A Taubit model can differentiate between censored and uncensored part of uh, dependent variable. That's why Taubit model is very special. A censored part of dependent variable means which is not fully observed. An uncensored part of dependent variable means which is fully observed. This is uncensored part of dependent variable and this is a censored part of dependent variable. And Taubit model can differentiate between censored part and uncensored part. So this is all about discrete choice model. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.